Now that we're alone, we can talk, Prince, man to man. Though you lie on the stairs and see no more than a dead ant, nothing but black sun with broken rays. I could never think of your hands without smiling. And now that they lie on the stone like fallen nests, they are as defenseless as before. The end is exactly this. The hands lie apart, the sword lies apart, the head apart, and the knight's feet in soft slippers. You will have a soldier's funeral without having been a soldier. The only ritual I am acquainted with a little. There will be no candles, no singing, only cannon fuses and bursts, crepe dragged on the pavement, helmets, boots, artillery, horses, drums, drums. I know nothing exquisite. Those will be my maneuvers before I start to rule. One has to take the city by the neck and shake it a bit. Anyhow, you had to perish, Hamlet. You were not for life. You believed in crystal notions, not in human clay. Always twitching as if asleep, you hunted chimeras. Wolfishly, you crunched the air only to vomit. You knew no human thing. You did not know even how to breathe. And now you have peace, Hamlet. You accomplished what you had to, and you have peace. The rest is not silence, but belongs to me. You chose the easier part of an elegant thrust. But what is heroic death compared with eternal watching, with a cold apple in one's hand on a narrow chair, with a view of the anthill and the clock's dial? Adieu. Prince, I have tasks, a sewer project and a decree on prostitutes and beggars. I must also elaborate a better system of prisons, since, as you justly said, Denmark is a prison. I go to my affairs. This night is born a star name. We shall never meet. What I shall leave will not be worth a tragedy. It is not for us to greet each other or bid farewell. We live on archipelagos and that water, these words, what can they do? What can they do? Prince.